What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So in today's video, it's going to be a quick update on my portfolio. It's not going to be anything too crazy or in depth as my usual video just because this week has been insanely crazy for me. So unfortunately, it's going to be nothing like my usual videos. My usual videos tend to take a lot of time to make, a lot of research and a lot of in-depth analysis. So that totally takes a lot of time. But anyways, this video is going to be a quick update and I promise we're going to get back on schedule next week. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for taking out the time to watch all my videos. And if you guys want to see this quick update, because we do have some very exciting changes, stay tuned and you guys already know, cue that intro. So on September 12th, 2021, we are sitting at about $5,651 and we've been growing this portfolio ever since about last year where we started off with a lump sum of $500. So this portfolio by no means is something that you're going to find on YouTube or any of the other channels where it's extremely big. This is a pretty relatable portfolio. It's not relatively that large. It is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but compared to a lot of the YouTubers out there or the other videos that you're going to see or the people you're going to see on Reddit, this is a pretty small portfolio. So with that being said, for those of you guys that don't know, I invest about $50 every single week for the first eight or so months. Then gradually I bump that up to $75. And then for the first time ever, and this is one of the newer exciting changes for this portfolio, I bumped it up to $100 every single week. So that's the first biggest change on my dividend growth portfolio. And I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to help me be able to compound my growth a lot faster, especially in terms of dividends. So just to kind of recap, in 2020, I got my first dividend of about $0.04 cents from Cisco and then a total of $0.11 cents for the entire of July. And then this is just a quick little spreadsheet created by True Financial. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out his channel. He was kind enough to let me use his spreadsheet. You guys can get it for free as well. And I asked him if I had permission to put this on YouTube and he said as long as I shout him out. So this is my quick little shout out to you. Appreciate it. But anyways, you guys can kind of see that my dividends are growing more and more. And this is exactly what I'm looking for in my dividend growth portfolio. The first month that I got a first dividend it was 11 cents. And then corresponding that to the year later is $6.64. So I'm pretty excited to see that growth. And for those of you guys that are used to seeing all these channels with a lot larger amount of dividends coming in, this is a lot more realistic to somebody that's going to be starting from $0 like me to kind of just kind of see this type of growth. And I want to show you guys that this is completely possible. So you guys can see that the corresponding months are really reflecting in this year's dividends from last year. So in August of last year, I got $1.72. This year I got $6.09. So we're continuously growing and hopefully we can look back in five, 10, maybe 15 years and see, wow, I was only getting $6. I was only getting $1 a month where I'm now I'm getting thousands of dollars every single month. But you guys know that we got to just start off with smaller milestones. So I'm pretty happy to see this kind of growth. So if you guys want to see this dividend growth journey, I definitely encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button so you guys can stick along for the journey and see that anything is possible. And also, if you guys also have your own dividend growth journey or your own portfolio, definitely leave it in the comments down below how much dividends you got in the month of August and how much you're planning to get in September. So other than that, we can kind of see that my annual dividends in 2020 was $16.26. And so far in just over half a year, I basically almost tripled the amount that I got in 2020. So I'm very excited to see what's going to come forth from this entire journey and this year in 2021. And I'm even more excited to see my dividends growing over time in 2022 and so on. So anyways, that's just a quick look into how much my dividends are growing in the past year. And one more cool thing I want to show you guys is on your Track Your Dividends website. By the way, it's completely free. I have a video if you guys want to set up for yourself. It's one of the best ways that you can track your own dividends for free, not sponsor or anything like that. But yeah, a couple weeks ago, I made a video about me achieving a giant milestone of getting $100 in annual income. And just two weeks later, I'm at $106. And I'm pretty excited because it's all about compounding and I love to see that. And this just proves to me that I'm actually making progress. It might be very little $6 more every single year, but it'll totally add up. If we even hop over to future value, which is one of my favorite features on this platform, and click the correct one, you can see that, yeah, I'm getting $106 in 2021. But if I don't add a single dollar 
in 2030 in just nine years i'm going to be getting 320 dollars. so again we're going to make a lot more progress over time and this is if i don't add a single dollar if i go ahead and just customize how much i'm going to put and like i mentioned before i bumped my annual contributions or my weekly contributions by 25 dollars. so if we go and put in 5200 so that's 100 dollars every single week for 52 weeks and we leave this on whatever it is we're not going to change anything up which honestly this is kind of unrealistic but if we just do that and update the chart we can see that now we're going to be going from 106 dollars to 2224 dollars obviously over time i'm looking to increase my amount that i'm going to put in every single time so my annual contributions I'm hoping that sometime along the future I can go from 100 to 125 and so on until I feel comfortable. But either way, this is a huge progression in my journey. And hopefully if you guys have the same progression, let me know down in the comments down below. But either way, I'm pretty excited to see this compounding growth. Of course, it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen eventually. I probably should have shown this a little bit earlier in the video, but I just want to show you guys and showcase that growth is definitely possible. So just starting now i put my first 100 dollars in every single week like i mentioned before but for the past for however long i can remember i was putting 75 dollars every single week if we go ahead and click next you guys can see i was doing 75 for quite a while january 25th 2021 was the first time that i switched over to 75 dollars from 50 dollars and you guys can see that i was doing 50 dollars for like the longest time possible and we started with a lump sum of 500 dollars I don't know why I put this random $100, maybe it was to buy a dip or something like that. But nonetheless, you guys can see it's all about consistency. So if you guys could take away one thing from this video, even though this was majority of a update video, take away that you can definitely do anything if you are consistent. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys got anything from this video, hopefully it was that. And if we even go to dividends only, you guys can see that we're growing our dividends over time and we're reinvesting those dividends. And if we just click on a single stock, let's just say, for example, Coca-Cola, I don't know. You guys can see over time went from 23 cents to 29 to 63 to 81. It's compounding over time. If we do this for any other stock, let's say T-Mobile or sorry, AT&T, you guys can see the same amount of growth over time. I'm just going to pick another random stock. Let's say one of my favorites, Apple. So Apple is one that doesn't pay me out so much, but again, you guys can see the consistency in growth. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. I am investing into companies that grow their dividends over time. They also have somewhat of a capital appreciation. But again, for me, it's all about growing that dividends and yield on costs over time. So yeah, I know this was a pretty short video and not really that informative, but hopefully you guys were able to... I don't know at least buy some time or have some fun or at least learn one or two things from this video and again guys it would really mean a lot to me if you guys hit the subscribe button and stick around for my journey and let me know about your guys' journey too i want to make this like a two-way communicative channel where it's not just all about me but it's also about you guys and growing your wealth over time it'd be really fun if we could all grow our wealth and get to financial freedom together I don't know, it just would be boring if I did this by myself. You know, it feels like I'm talking to you guys. So I appreciate you guys for sticking along in the journey, liking my content, and I really, really do appreciate it. So if you guys would hit the subscribe button, it means a lot to me. But that's enough. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And guys, remember, everybody eats.